Hello everyone, my name is Sam Illingworth, Associate Professor in Academic Practice at Edinburgh Napier University. And every year at EGU, we normally have a poetry slam at the Conveners Party. We're going to have one in a digital capacity. So this video is a series of poets who have sent me their work in an incredibly short period of time, less than 48 hours to prepare these. And they explore the various intersections of the geosciences. So please watch them, enjoy them, marvel at their talent and consider yourself about writing a poem in order to explore the wonderful, wonderful world of the geosciences. Hello, I'm Ruth Aylett from Edinburgh and this poem is called Tyree, Ringing Stone. Boldly across the matcha, springy underfoot, then field gates to open, bolts icy in the wind, or string shut with obscure knots, one with twisted wire, two stiff for fingers, climbed. When I asked at the farm, they said, it looks like nothing else around. Past a small wind turbine, silver snipping obsessively at a watercolour sky, starlings rise from the marsh grice skimming as a collective mind through jostling air in complex schemes, confusing as the path I try to find. Following the sea edge, fractal, fractured, by endless arguments between the waves, eroding gales, lichens, grasses, sheep, the path bends in a conjurer's trick. It's reveal this shoulder-high egg. Skin smooth, grey, a single heavy thought. Fingers pulled across its micro-pitted face, read no message in its extra curves, cupped hollows in the rock, made by who knows who, once upon a time. For sacrificial blood, good luck. From boredom, I was here, the meaning's gone. I take a hand-sized pebble, strike the surface, magic out a mellow note hanging in the air. Within its clung, the absent glacier groans, this ringing stone polished and dropped to lie until the ice returns. Hello, my name is Clint Wastling and I'm going to read you one of my geological themed poems from my collection, Layers. This one's called Fossil. There is something military about the waves today, uniformly attacking, grinding the applauding pebbles. My eyes pick out a fossil preserved in fallen rock, a spiral of immortality, decay in Andante. I wish I were a Mesozoic ammonite charting vast tropical oceans in search of food, a mate, a meaning. Waves whisper to the wind which caresses my skin. Shore and sea with my thoughts lying on wave crests. Drawn then dashed, drawn, diminished again. Sent hill throws heathen snakes in your form. Darwin saw your evolution from great sea worms. Children sell you to shop weary tourists. But I imagine you alive in Jurassic oceans, knowing nothing of extinction. Men. Oh God. Hi, my name is Babel Winkler and here's my summary poem for VEGU 21. Virtual General Assembly of the European Geoscience Union. E-meeting of thousands of scientists from around the globe. Great variety of topics presented. Union symposia featured in week one. Two weeks in length to spread things around virtually. One highlight for me, the interest in science communication. Engaging discussions in the breakout rooms. New connections made throughout the week. Gather town, like a video game coming alive. Additional time to take in content until May 31st. Games for geosciences, lots of food for thought. Education and outreach sessions of particular interest for me. Discover something new in many sessions. Introducing Denial 101X in climate literacy. Science to Action, a chance against misinformation. CO2 emissions saved, 
about 23,000 tons. Organizers quickly responded to Monday's tech issues. VP co-formed elevator pitches for your research. EGU Today for daily news. Rhyme your research to bring out the poets in us. Inspiring presentations throughout the week. Networking opportunities to run into people. Short courses for many different topics. Pop-up networking events for everybody. Intriguing projects where arts meets science. Really enjoyed my, my participation again. EGU 2022, perhaps as a hybrid conference. Andy Abraham, Canada. Zircon. This tiny gem from an ancient rock. A perfectly preserved atomic clock. Provides a stime of primordial light. Illuminating ignorance's eternal night. Telling Earth's stories, this prismatic mime is a capsule created in deep time. Hello, I'm Robin Lamble, a postdoc at Imperial College. Uh, this poem is called Too Much CO2. The rule is words with more than three letters must contain a C and an O. Carbon concentrations rocket. Consequences catastrophic. For the concentrations control atmospheric optic echoes. Our cocooning gas contorts a comfy day to be a scorcher as our oceans all become acidulous and one by one force low-coast locals all to run. Avaricious for resources, carbon coffers, cloud discourses, woo political discord by reproaching consumer forces. In draconic economics, actors are conceived atomic, so we do not contemplate competitors cooperate. In a contactless context, we clot condemn the concept of social cost, but touch converts cogs to community. To connect is to fix. If we connect oscillating electronics, elections and ecologic, we can construct a collective economics. For we have but one air to lap up sin, and but one air to fan or kin. We are all lit by but one sun. We die and rot in but one bed, and all the gas our ash has fed can go up in one conflagration. The earth, our home, yet I do feel homeless and alone. Home, a prison, safe haven, yet I'm going slightly mad. I joke about not wearing pants. Funny, cause true. Camera on and smile, a masquerade. Give them something great. We're not where we want to be, together, you and me. It was good to hear how you've been, see you on my screen. But it was not as it should be, together, you, us, we. But I promise we'll share a beer in Vienna next year. I hope you enjoyed those poems. I know that I certainly did. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of the poets that were involved. Hopefully we'll be back in Vienna next year so we can have the Poetry Slam in person. But I just wanted to leave you with the words of Robert Kelly, the American poet, with his poem, Science. Science explains nothing, but holds all together as many things as it can count. Science is a basket, not a religion, he said a cat as big as a cat, the moon the size of the moon. Science is the same as poetry, only it uses the wrong words. Think about the words that you use, think about each other, embrace the geosciences, embrace poetry, and see you next year for EGU 2022.